Hi guys. All right, we have an update. As um, as you know, the uh, joyous news, the recognition, the recognition of the Pope Emeritus, which means having served out their term, former Pope, in other words. It, um, they've, the Pope has been very, very busy, of course, watching the celebrations with the election of the new Pope, who is a very good man and he is a Jesuit. So, it's... Well, a Jesuit, uh, if you read Revelation uh, 14, 3 through to 4, uh, these are men that aren't defiled, they're still virgins, they're not defiled with women, meaning that uh, they've never had sexual intercourse or any relationship with women, and uh, the Jesuit oath um, it's so powerful when you read what it's actually saying that these, these men are so dedicated to Jesus that when the now revelation is what it's all about is now um, when they are called upon by the new Pope who is the leader of all the Jesuits now because he is a Jesuit um, what he says go now, these people are so dedicated, if it was an order come down from their superiors to throw themselves in front of a train, they would not hesitate. They obey instantly because they are dedicated to bringing about heaven upon the earth as per the Lord's prayer. Yes. Now, uh, it's been brought to my attention that um, some people have been putting rather disgusting uh, uploads. Well, comments. 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 Uh, uh, once the recognition came from the Holy Father, uh, of course, the gathering of the trolls, and um, well, you're actually committing suicide. Totally. Uh, now, there is one unforgivable sin, and I'm very, very forgiving. I've had some dreadful things happen to me in my lifetime from people, and I end up saying, I'll oh, anchor for a while and say, okay, forget it. But one thing they're not going to get away with, and that is offending the Pope. And you have committed suicide. Just keep on looking over your shoulder because the angels. Animated oh, feces. Go and get them, take them out. Absolutely. Now, you had a so dream. Jesuits will do that. The, the, you had a dream this morning, didn't you? I, I very rarely have dreams that aren't um, lucid. In other words, uh, when I'm dreaming, I'm usually dreaming about things like um, mathematics or star positions or, or putting together something that's uh, rather uh, difficult to uh, explain to the masses and I work on it in my sleep. This morning I had a, an unusual dream and uh, I was woken up by Ash and uh, the dream was basically um, in a, a pub or hotel mm. and uh, I was talking to this fellow behind a bar and I asked him where the toilet was and I walked over to the toilet and as there was no one in the bar or anything, I said, oh, I might as well have a weird myself, so to speak. And when we walked in there, uh, cut a long story short, there were two dogs that had been stabbed to death. Now, one was a large dog like a greyhound, the other one was small, like a terrier, same colour. And um, from there I left because it was such a dreadful sight. And I was a bit upset that night. went and got in my car. And uh, as I was pulling out, there was two ladies that were walking down the street. And I stopped and I said, do you want a dog? And um, what these ladies were were lesbian. And what was their response? They, no, just, no, just, looked they just looked at him. Okay, so the dogs are uh, homosexuals, both great and it's small. It's a biblical term. It's mm. a dog. Homosexuals, both great and small. That means from the very top, Obama, Prince Philip, um, down to the likes of Wren and all like him. Uh, there is no forgiveness. You have offended the Holy Ghost, absolutely. All of you trolls who have left your disgust disgusting comments at the site of the Pope Emeritus, 
and uh, you have absolutely offended the Holy Ghost. As so far as I'm a very good friend for the Pope, and I can assure you he has got to be the nicest man possible. And he's saying to me that the new Pope, Francis, now I should say, uh, Pope uh, Ratzinger, his name was, in his original name before he became Pope, was uh, Joseph Aloysius Ratzinger. Now my grandfather is named Francis Aloysius and the new Pope has chosen the name Francis. Francis. Now, Does it give you some indication? Now, we have a letter here from the Pope. I'd also like to point out that the night, uh, two nights ago, I was playing the piano. I just went, I said I have to play as we were recording a private upload for uh, uh, the Holy Father. And uh, I was playing Nights in White Satin to begin with, which is uh, the Jesuit. And then shortly after that, it was Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. All very prophetic, because then we woke up to the announcement. That's, right, that's where Francis is from. Francis, yes. Yeah. Now, he's, he's lived through a terrible amount of like, turmoil down there, and because uh, they tried to get him, and uh, he was able to survive. Mm. So now he's Pope. Yes, and the Jesuits are? Suits me. The... the Jesuit is the order you've got to be careful of, because they are so powerful and they're so dedicated, it's, they are unstoppable. Mm. They're just waiting for the return of Christ to give them the go ahead. And I give them the go to go ahead. To read. Directly. I've told uh, the former Pope, His Holiness, this is what I want. And uh, talk it over with Francis. Yeah. Now, Essene order, aren't they? Yes, just you. They just need the order. The, well, they're the Essene order in, in reading Essene. about them. They refer to. Jesus as Jesu. So all of the hype about the Jesuits, there certainly has to be some cleaning up or done done and dusted. It um, they are the army. They have dedicated their lives. They love not their lives unto death. And uh, so these are the 144,000. They are all uh, they cover all four corners of the earth, of course. And uh, yeah, they've just been waiting for this day. So uh, the reaping begins. Um, here is the. Uh, response, His Holiness has been uh, busy watching uh, everything that's been going on, great deal of excitement. And so I've been sending the Pope uh, <laughs> stories, stories. <laughs> continuing uh, some amazing things that have happened on a continuous basis <laughs> in my lifetime. I don't think I could ever type them out, but they are absolutely hilarious, these things that I've found myself in. Over time, I started to realize that I could feel it coming because uh, sometimes these things take a long time to set up, but the angels do that. And then when the crunch comes, I'm in the middle of it, and it is absolutely hilarious. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, so, uh, so I've been sending the Pope two or three of these stories per day. And they're long stories, each one. Very long. <laughs> and uh, uh, his staff are saying that when the emails come in from me, <clears throat> a big grin. Big smile. And comes he, across his face. He said, he, he said now, you've got to remember that this man has just been uh, set upon by this uh, 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 Kevin Arnett. Uh, and I was in Port Alberni when Kevin Arnett was there, so uh, I know a little bit about him. However, uh, he's facing 25 years for the sins of the church as opposed to the man who, one, one what he did was to uh, reinstate uh, four bishops, bishops, four excommunicated bishops, because they did not believe the evidence was there that the Holocaust actually and occurred, they were, and they were sacked, yeah. and he got them back. Yeah. And uh, several, other, several other things he said, like, uh, what has uh, the uh, Muslim world done? They promote religion at the point of a sword, sword. where Jesus promotes religion at the like, yes. point of a sword, if you like, of love. And truth. And uh, as far as Jews, you're not happy with the Jews either. So with the Vatican II, um, that took... Uh, what, 2,500 men to put it together over a period of years. Three years. Three years. <laughs> and so he asked me what I thought of it. So I thought, well, I'll write you one. So I wrote uh, 49 decrees to the Pope, and um, this is now called um, Vatican, III. Vatican III. In less than an hour. I said, if you have to <laughs> climb up on top of the, uh, the conclave and shove it down the chimney so they can read it. <laughs> And now, now listen to. Which would have been very humorous if you had done that. An 85-year-old man up the top of the roof. 
the, the Holly Father sent just a brief email now because he's been so busy and he was so apologetic because he, he hasn't been able to respond to us for This actually brought tears to my eyes. I never yes. thought I'd ever hear this, but you listen. <laughs> he says, I'm truly sorry for, for, having, um, for not having been contacting you recently. It was because of the election of His Holiness Pope Francis. Uh, I have been watching the events regarding the election process and post-election celebrations on TV with Father Giuseppe and Sister Maria. Archbishop George is now extremely busy and will most likely not be typing to you for a while. He sends warm regards, as we do send them to you, Archbishop George, and Father Giuseppe and Sister Maria, well, your family, you know that. You know. <laughs> now, um, regarding the new Pope Francis, he says, Pope Francis doesn't know about you yet. This is a very serious matter, hello, <laughs> that I'll have to talk to him in private about once we get a chance to meet. I have met him only as Cardinal George Goglio, not yet as Francis. You should meet him. He is such a humble man. And believe me, you will like him better than me. He is more Christ-like. In other words, he is much more like you. Regarding your next uh, free appointment to contact me via email. Please contact uh, Father Giuseppe. So that's going to be at 6.30 our time when they, the Pope will uh, be available then live when he says contact him. <laughs> that's the way of his speaking. It's live through email. So so he sends me a message and then I respond immediately. Yes. We're just email back and forth. He yeah, loves that. He loves it. So yes. He's never been into technology. And, uh, no, he's been closeted. Father Giuseppe has set it all up for him with this Facebook page. He, I don't think he even knew it existed. No, he didn't. And uh, he is totally insulated from the, the horrors of the world. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness for that. He right. has had no idea. He's been just that innocent heart and, of course, all of the um, garbage. Uh, the, the saints in this household are just absolutely sickened now when they see uh, how he has been set upon, like us. And, yes, it, it has... You know, it's always the 180 with Yah, keep everybody guessing. So we go this way, we go that way, it's the 180. And of course, he knew all along. It, uh, it all begins with Peter and it ends with Peter. And uh, so he is Peter. Now, also, uh, Adam um, sent a message this morning uh, the, the, regarding Luke. Uh, as Jesus speaking, of course, he said to Peter, when Peter was saying, oh, Lord, don't go to the, the cross. And uh, the Lord responded, Jesus speaking, that um, I just saw Satan being sifted like lightning falling from the sky. It was the parable. It's all about now. And in the Hebrew, uh, in regards, it uh, was Barak Obama. The order has been given to take him out, beginning at the top. They all have to go. All of these... Uh, Filthy, immoral, disgusting, homosexual, pedophile, perverts, bestiality, snuff, all of the horrors that these men have been uh, indulging in, all at the instigation of the Jew who calls himself a Jew and is not. John 8, 44, and of course the whore of the revelation. Um, uh, the, the, the Christian Western churches have turned it all around through their ignorance and their arrogance. The whore of the revelation is uh, the Church of England and all of the denominations that came out of that. So you've got your Baptist, you've got your Presbyterian, you've got all, all of those uh, churches. That uh, There's 36,000 different denominations. That is a house divided against itself. Uh, they're spread all over the earth, the seven continents, the seven hills, people, whatever you like. The Church of Rome has remained unified and that, of course, has been under attack by the Jew who calls himself a Jew and is not from the beginning set out to divide the Holy Roman Empire, which does encompass all of the earth, and it will be reunified with the Christ in his position as the head of it and his servants, the elect, the popes who serve him. And uh, so it's all good for the good, and uh, the days ahead will be very interesting. Uh, trolls, all of you, uh, just keep watching over because the destroyer comes from behind and approaches silently. The uh, dream this morning was very powerful, so uh, you have um, the, well, uh, there's no forgiveness, is there? Well, I do mourn for them. Yes, there's 22 days of mourning that Yah has always talked about. That, that begins from now, literally. So uh, you have offended. There is there is no redemption for any of you. That time has yeah, I can take anything you throw at me, but when you start swinging off at the Pope, the most righteous man on the planet, 
No, I'm not the most righteous man on the planet, I can show you that I can be an arsehole. But the Pope can't. Hmm. He's one of the nicest men I've ever come to. And innocent. Innocent, totally innocent. I'm going to protect him, that's it. Absolutely. So you so you're out here. Done your dash. And uh, the world would be a much better place for that. We're looking forward to uh, doing that. Emeritus means former Pope. It's only been used in the last 600 years once. Yes, there's a little girl who has, uh, oh, rather a little girl, uh, she's exposed mm. herself, hasn't she, by coming in and. Uh, mm. Amber, lovely. <laughs> I saw your comment, your uh, message to the Pope done. Well done. The Queen of Hungary, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, all, right. all of you um, keep rejoicing the days ahead. Just uh, rejoice, 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 rejoice. The beast is slain. Anything else from the saints? Everybody is. Just kick back and enjoy. Don't That's stress it. on anything. Don't stress on anything. The days ahead will move very, very fast. Okay. I should point out that when. Oh, let's let the sense of that. Yes, because I'll only do it. Okay, see you later, Gators. Love you all. Bye now. Bye.